Hi everyone, it's Karen, and we're here with day number 27 of Vlogtober. And I apologize for missing yesterday. I was just, I was sleep deprived. I was running on fumes. I was just too tired to function enough to, to try this yesterday. So we will be doing a little bit of catch up today. Not a lot, but a little bit of catch up today. Where's my pen? We're off to a good start though, aren't we? <laughs> so, the scripture writing. And we'll get some decorating done as well. I do need to catch up on these one of this one of these days, but I'll pop that away for now. So October 26th, yesterday. Hopefully this will fit on here. It's not a long passage for yesterday's. And if it doesn't fit, oops. So it's Hebrews 9, 24. Which reads, For Christ has not entered the holy places made with hands, which are copies of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. There we go. And today is October 27th. And today we have First Peter three, twenty one and twenty two. And the reading for, or the writing for October 27th is 1 Peter 3, 21 to 22. Uh, 
and that reads, there is also an antitype which now saves us, baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers having been made subject to him. We'll let this dry and we will come back and decorate this tomorrow and do the next passage. The other thing I wanted to show you today is, you remember I had mentioned I was planning on buying, or was planning on buying or did buy 
a size A6 Stylogy that I was going to use as a mostly devotional study book and a place where I can add in all sorts of decorations and artwork or anything. Um, write out prayers, all kinds of things like that. So I picked up this A6 size Stylogy notebook and I did one of the, the first decoration I've done in here and I'm going to show you a couple little clips of that but I have filmed an entire video on the process I used and I will be posting that on, up on my channel later today or tomorrow at the latest depending on how long it takes to edit but this book just has plain plain pages it's um, a grid so I'll be able to write in straight lines but what I want to do is either use like a two page spread or one page depending and use it as a place to keep up with a devotional. And the first one I want to work through is that one that I showed you the book I bought last week and I think it was like 138 days so and it has reflection questions for each of the days so I want to start doing that in here and that starts on a Monday or it's set up so that you do six days and then the seventh day you reflect on the previous week. So I really would like to have that start on a Monday so that my seventh day is Sunday where I'll have a little time to reflect on that. But what I have done is I've gone and decorated the inside front cover. I'm gonna have, to, I think I'm gonna have to use some packing tape on here because this is coming undone a little drop. But what I've done is I have put a washi tape decorative cover on on here. The page looked like this before. This looks so much prettier. It really does. I, I really enjoy this. I still want to decorate the inside back cover as well, but I will do that maybe today, maybe later today. I'm having I had fun doing doing this one so I might do this the back cover as well I'll do it in a different washi because I have enough washi to uh, I don't know I've got plenty of washi and so I've done the decoration on that and then I want to do some kind of decoration on here and who knows uh, I'm planning on doing all kinds of tip-ins all kinds of decorations I'm planning on printing out some different things and tucking them in here and including them so that they look like they're actually a page that fits right in here. I have all kinds of plans for this book. But I did want to show you the initial... I did want to show you the initial decoration that I've done in here. So I will be keeping this in a probably a chic sparrow leather cover and I also have another protective cover to go over this before I put it into my chic sparrow leather cover I haven't decided for sure which one I'm going to use I think for starters I'm going to use this cover because I love that it has I bought this used well, used on eBay and it has a little inscription on here of it says 413 so I'm willing to put a 99.9% .9 guess that that is um, our Bible passage that I can do all things that Philippians 413 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me so I'm thinking I might use this as my my cover for this. This is an insert that came with it when I bought it. 
but what I'm thinking of doing is we'll tuck this in here, tuck this into the back elastic and have it stored in here. I am thinking I might buy another another cover for it, but I haven't decided for sure because I really do like the I do like this cover. It has some strange discolorations on it. It's a gorgeous green. And you can see it's a chic sparrow leather leather cover. And again, I did buy this on on eBay, so it's it's used. Um, I can't remember the name of the leather, but I think some people had helped me to decide it was. But it does need um, the leather does need to be conditioned again. It's just it's got a little bit dry and and you use. It looks like it's just been out and it's had some sun exposure and faded. I think it was sitting on a bookshelf or it was covered with something because this parts had some fading and so has along the, the spine and a little bit on the edges but it's still functional and I'm likely going to continue keeping it in here. I think I might buy another cover because I'd like to have pockets to tuck things in here although the other cover I bought will it does also have some some pockets as well so stay tuned we'll be using this quite a bit more in the future let's tuck this guy back in here for now but there we have it my size A6 Stalogy and I will continue keeping you posted and show you the different things that I'm going to do with this book. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Take care everyone. God bless and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye now.